Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Andrew's Boozy Concoctions. Okay guys, today I'm going to make you feel green with envy. So we're going to be doing another green drink. So today we are doing the Toxic Green Shot. Now, this is a drink I first made when I was 20. I've actually got this on my Instagram page as well. You're more welcome to have a look at it. Uh, I was really bored one day and I wanted something strong and melony, so I created the uh, Toxic Green. Originally, when I first made this drink, I used Green Fairy, but instead, I'm going to be using a different kind of absinthe that I got my hands on, which is a, a little bit more stronger, but for those that are not quite big on absinthe, what you can do is you can actually weaken it with a little bit more creme de menthe and midori. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with our absinthe. Now, you can use any kind of absinthe as long as it's green. You can use this type or you can use green fairy, up to you. So we're going to add about 10 mils of this. Ten mils of absinthe. Look at that. It's a nice olive colour. So we've got one element of green here. Alright guys, so now we grab our Midori. We're going to do 20 mils of Midori. We tend to use Midori quite a lot in this side channel. So we've gone from olive to this beautiful fluoro colour, which is quite attractive, actually. And now, the finishing touch in your bottle, just to crack that open. We do use um, creme de menthe quite on my channel. Plus, uh, I do love creme de menthe as well. I'm a sucker for creme de menthe with um, Baileys, or even with just a little bit of um, ice cream, actually. Um, okay, so now we're going to add now 20 mils of green creme de menthe. My, my, my. What a pretty drink. And there you have it, folks. The toxic green shot. Well, that smells very potent. I can actually smell the mint and uh, melon from, from, from here, plus the absinthe. Now, interesting fact with absinthe is this. When absinthe was first actually discovered, they found that uh, large amounts of absinthe can cause hallucinations. So, yeah. I mean, I just took, took a shot of that stuff earlier, and uh, I'm already starting to see little green fairies. Okay, edit this out. This is just shit. I'm just making up things like go along now. Um, yeah. So, like I said, guys... You can use green fairy, you can use other green absinthe. Speaking of fairy, you can follow um, my lovely assistant Molly on actual fairy bread on Twitch. So uh, if you like to see nice channel, check her out. She's funny and full of puns. Joining me is my lovely assistant Molly, who will be taste testing this drink. Everyone, welcome back Molly! Hey! This is quite a potent drink, let's put it that way. Um, like I said, I was 20 years old when I designed this. So if you aren't like this, blame 20 year old me. You're a very rare person for trying it when I try this. I salute you. I love how we've got everything going green here. here. Mm. Taste the toxic green shot. Yeah, I don't think anyone's actually going to be bringing it down either. I feel as if we should be playing Britney Spears' song by, by Toxic right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go! Mint is nice. The mint really helps it actually. Oh my god, couldn't control my face, sorry. <laughs> okay. But absinthe... it is nice, all the flavours mixing together right now, yeah. it's actually quite nice. Yeah. Well absinthe is one of those things that's where it's like an acquired taste. It's almost like tequila. It will hit, hit you, but this is a bit more potent. So it's basically like a European version of moonshine. Almost like how the Italians have um, grappa. Well, that's all time for we have today, guys. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. In the meantime, stay boozy.
fairies. You should follow Actual Fairy Bread on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs>